And switching gears back to weather, we know we've got a first alert weather day as we get Monday night into Tuesday morning. And Alabamians, guys, we are no stranger to storm anxiety, especially at the height of spring severe weather season. But even our furry friends can turn stressed when the sky turns dark. I sat down with renowned cat expert and star of Animal Planet's My Cat from Hell, Jackson Galaxy, to learn more about how we can keep our cats safe in all types of extreme weather. Their senses are so finely attuned to stimuli and what is a threat. So the best thing we can do is try to even out that threat. Though the WBRC weather team prides ourselves on giving you the first alert, cats may actually beat us to the punch. We got to remember that not only are cats responding to the sounds, if you think about the sound of thunderstorms or, or, or any kind of major weather event and how that affects us, Cats also are responsive to barometric pressure. So when thunder roars, you can soothe your scaredy cat by establishing their safe space, what Jackson Galaxy calls base camp. If there's a quiet room in the house for them to go to during this time, smaller rooms are better where there's not that much stimulation that's got all of their good belongings in there, things that smell like them, cat trees, and things that smell like you as well that they get comfort from. Scent comforts cats. But when a tornado warning is issued, much to my cat, Ophelia's chagrin, getting your cat into their carrier is key. It shouldn't be a place that they dread. It should actually be that place they go to when they are scared. So turning your carriers into beds, into places where they get their special treats, keeping those carriers available to you at all times, they shouldn't be out in the garage gathering dust. But even on the sunny days, we can set our cats up for success by feeding their mojo. That sense of confidence that they have in the world. And we have to remember the cats derive their confidence from their history as one of nature's most perfect hunters. Setting aside playtime each day with your cat can help meet their need to pounce. And though we prefer you watch WBRC, your feline companions may be more inclined to flip the channel and watch. Cat TV, being able to, for them to perch in a window, look out there, if you've got bird feeders or something where they can watch the wildlife out there without actually going out there, it's amazing for them. That boosts mojo. And if you're listening to all of this advice but don't have a cat, Jackson Galaxy has some perfect advice. Go and adopt a cat. If you got a cat, get another cat. And hey, like Jackson Galaxy said, go adopt a cat. It's only $17 for cat and dog adoptions at the Greater Birmingham Humane Society through the end of the month for a little St. Patrick's Day special. And if you can't bring an animal into your home, you can always volunteer or donate to. And you may want to bring your animals into your home going into Monday night when we have that first alert weather day in place. We'll be breaking down the latest timing for when those storms should arrive coming up in my full forecast.